There are such dehumanizing animals in the world. A group of Germans invaded the village, tortured and brutally killed not only the woman, but even her five-year-old daughter. However, all this was seen by the husband who had just returned, but he did not dare to make a sound, because he knew that if the Germans found out, he would end up in the same place. The man, named John, had been a good doctor, often treating wounded gorillas in private. In order to avoid his wife and daughter's involvement, John sent them to the countryside for refuge. He didn't realize that a brief separation would be goodbye forever. A few days later, John went back to visit, but happened to see the beginning of the scene. In order to prevent himself from losing his temper, he had to put the glove in his mouth and bite. At this moment, John secretly vowed in his heart that he would make these scum pay for their blood. So when he went back, he immediately found the double-barreled shotgun he had treasured for many years. It was an old gun, but it was powerful enough to bring down a wild boar with a single shot. In order to kill all the Germans, John took advantage of the night to enter the village on the only way. He first destroyed the bridge with a shovel, and then quietly sneaked into the village's water village, and released all the water stored in the tank. Now they had to get water from the well, and John had to get to the bottom of the well through a tunnel. He stayed at the intersection all night. The next day, the Germans did arrive, and a soldier had just dropped a bucket. <laughs> With a gunshot, Water Devil immediately died on the spot. The soldiers around all around the past. One of the recruits looked down, but the captain stopped him in time, which allowed him to survive. It then took out a grenade and threw it down. But John had already left the bottom of the well. Since the Germans had only one small team, they were afraid that they would be surrounded by partisans. So the captain sent soldiers to ask for help. But just out of the village, the car fell from the bridge. The captain also thought it was a gorilla ambush, so scared that he immediately ordered his men to close the door and prepare to escape. But just then, a soldier happened to find John hiding in the castle. He was about to climb into the armored vehicle and shoot when... The other soldiers heard the shots and quickly fired into the house. But John had already fled into the tunnel. In order to catch him, the Germans searched the castle. Although the Germans eventually found the secret passage, John managed to escape with the advantage of familiarity with the terrain. John made his way to another room and rinsed his head with cold, cold water. When he finished washing and put on his glasses, a German soldier appeared in front of him. It turned out that John was found by the other party when he escaped the secret way and tracked him all the way here. Partisan. Los, komm mit! Jetzt brav mit nach oben! Der Hauptsturm für Orbit ist zum Speichen bringen! When the Germans weren't looking, John swooped in, grabbed his head, and slammed it against the wall. He was hit hard in the back of the head, and he died soon after, and the small captain has not seen the people come back. The heart also has a bad hunch. He asks one of the soldiers to rope down the mountain for help, only to be spotted by John. He immediately set up the shotgun. Ah! Although successfully killed the devil, but the loud gunfire also revealed his position. Several German soldiers fired a volley of bullets in his direction, followed by several grenades. John didn't blink, he was wounded in the arm by a grenade, and even his glasses fell to the ground and were smashed. He ran to the nearest room and patched up his wound. He was so short-sighted that he could not see clearly without his glasses. So John has to risk exposure and return to the castle again. No sooner had he found his spare glasses than a German soldier burst into the room. John raised his hand and shot him, but only in the other person's hand. The rest of the soldiers heard the gunshots and quickly grabbed their weapons and rushed into the house. But when they kicked the door open, John was nowhere to be found. At this time, Amir caught the captain's attention, but after looking for a long time, he still couldn't find anything and had to leave. But it didn't realize that John was hiding behind this mirror. As his comrades were killed one after another, the few remaining German soldiers began to panic. One of the soldiers tried to change into civilian clothes to escape, but was discovered by the captain, who, <laughs> who killed the deserter. But the other guy fought back before he died, and he hit him in the stomach. The captain endured the pain to find the remaining two men to help, but two people have already left him from the Chamber of Secrets. Unfamiliar with the terrain, they had the misfortune to fall into the trap. At this moment, John slowly comes out of the dark. He wants to shoot them directly, but the last two bullets are broken, so he opened the sluice and then closed the manhole cover. Watching the two people in the pain and kept begging for mercy, John's heart finally got a little comfort. Now that the captain is the only one left alive, John decides to give the scum a taste of his own medicine. Let them know what it's like to burn. The captain also knew that he was doomed to die, so he took out his pistol and prepared to commit suicide in front of the mirror before he could pull the trigger. 